Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this video, we show how many spreaders have an uneven profile. Recall from the last video, spreading profile is either the variation of CD stresses for unslit web or the variation of gaps between slit lanes. Though we might tolerate, or even on rare occasion, want the profile to be uneven, constant, flat, and uniform is usually less risky. There are three conditions that could lead to non-uniform profile. The first we discussed in the last video, and that was poor quality application, design, manufacturing, or maintenance. In this video, we discuss some spreaders that are inherently uneven by design, as well as the very rare profilable spreaders. Guess what happens if you overbow a bowed roller or bent pipe type spreader? The compliant cover spreader with uniform grooves and the slatted expander roller must have tent shaped spreading profile. The reason is easy with the following analogy. In a tug of war, the highest tension is at the center and the tension tapers to zero at the ends. The edge spool spreaders and the tenor chain both have a U-shaped spreading profile once you get a bit away from the local pins, clips, or rollers. Two versions of the expander roller have an M-shaped spreading profile. The reason for the loss at the outside edges is similar to what we saw in profile number two. The reason for the loss at the middle is due to friction of the assembly not allowing the cover to expand uniformly across the width. Obviously, you would never, ever, ever want the previous profiles for any after slitter spreader. The reason being is that you would risk excessive gaps and instability in some locations and running lanes together in others. Yet, there are places where you might want spreaders that could put more power in one location than another, provided that the operator could use that selective adjustment to do more good than harm. One case on unslit webs might be a baggy lane. Another case on slit webs might be to open up a gap that may be too close for some other reason. Unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, Profilable spreaders are extremely rare. Perhaps the most common is taping a roller in selective locations instead of at both ends as in the concave roller. The other two require special and complicated designs where the shape of a bar or segmented roller can be altered by independently adjustable jacks. These are, unfortunately, so powerful that you risk the operator causing the very problem that you intended to avoid by giving them local adjustments. No! And as a reminder, spiral grooving or tape on rollers does not spread, as was proven on the same All Web Handling channel. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. You can learn more about rollers, spreading, wrinkling, and other must-know subjects from my ever-popular web handling and converting class.